Welcome to MissouriFoodStamps.net. Today I'm going to show you how to apply for food stamps in the state of Missouri. Uh, first things first, if you, would have, if you would have went to the site MissouriFoodStamps.net, you would have came on this page here. Now on this page here, you're going to find a lot of helpful information that will talk to you about, the, uh, explain to you about the benefits, how to apply, the criteria, and what happens once you get approved. You also would see a box that looks something like this. Would you like a food stamp application? If you would have signed up, put your name and your email, and clicked on yes, you would have instantly received an email. Now the email would have looked like this, and it would have two links in it. One is for the actual food stamp application. The other one is to help you find a local office to submit your application to. So let's go ahead and click on the food stamp application link. And as you see, it takes you to, to the Missouri food stamp application. Now you're, go, you're going to want to go ahead and print this form out and then get it out your little handy pen and fill this out. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes and it's pretty much self-explanatory. You're going to fill in the information. Like here, for example, they want your name, your address, your mailing address. They want you to read this here. If you agree, go ahead and sign off. Uh, list everyone who's living in your household. Uh, also list their date of birth and their social security number as well as their race, their citizenship and they want to know if they buy and eat food with you. Uh, and then just go through the questions here and, and answer them. Like say here, A. Have you or any member of your household been convicted of trafficking food stamp benefits over $500 or more? If yes, who? So if you're guilty, you would fill that in there. Um, like I said, just go through the questions, they're self-explanatory. If they apply, go ahead and answer them. Uh, these questions here is to see if you uh, qualify for emergency food stamps, which you will be approved within seven days if you do, if, if you meet the criteria. Uh, what else here? And then pretty much you're going to sign off. A witness is going to sign off and that's it. I mean, it's not more complicated than that uh, go back to the email that I sent you click on local office okay you would fall under income maintenance and self-sufficiency programs they want you to choose a county from the list and then press go I'm just gonna select Barry County and push go and here they're gonna give you an address and a fax number you can also fax these forms in. Uh, you usually get approved a little quicker because you don't have to wait for them to reach the destination. Uh, a little trick is make sure you fax them twice, about a minute apart, just to make sure that it gets to the other end. And uh, save your receipt from your fax machine showing that it was received at the other end. Attach that receipt to your application and keep that somewhere safe. Just in case something happens, you will have proof that you sent it and it was received at the other end. Uh, once again, make sure that you sign up. You know, uh, put your name, your email. Uh, we're not going to send you any spam or anything like that. We're just going to send you helpful information to get you through, get you through these tough times. If for any reason um, you don't want to receive the emails anymore, just click the unsubscribe link. In one of the emails that you do receive this will take you off the database and you will not hear from me again but uh, for those of you who do wish to receive the helpful emails I will be talking to you soon thank you and have a nice day